Ian. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. I'm so excited to talk about all of your incredible projects, Sammy. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, I'm excited. I want to congratulate you on all of the magnificent success with your career. I've always loved all of your music from Stop the Music to Champions, Coast to Coast, LA Story, all the songs I could go on and on. I mean, I love your music. So again, congratulations to you on everything. Now, first off, can amazing. You Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Now, first off, can you tell us what inspired you to focus your life around music? Um, kind of just always had, uh, an interest in it, whether it was like, you know, when I, when I got taught how to like improvise on the piano, um, that was kind of 10 to 15 years before I thought it could turn into like producing music and songwriting and stuff like that. So it was, it was like kind of a gradual process where, you know, I learned how to play the piano. I hated being classically trained. Um, and then met with a teacher and he just like basically threw out all my books and taught me how to like play the blues scale and play classical music that, you know, you could never really play those same notes again. It was all improvisation. And that just made music so fun for me. Um, and then, you know, fast forward to years later when like Fruity Loops and Logic Pro and Acid and production programs came out. Um, you know, a simple click of a button, you could have like a symphony orchestra or like a quartet. So that made it really cool for me because it was more close to home since I grew up on reggae and hip hop and rock and roll that I could put like, you know, these instruments to a beat instead of just, you know, being like a guitar player or a keyboard or a keys guy for a band. Um, so that's really all where it started. And then um, high school, I probably crashed like two of my dad's computers from downloading software programs before high school and then finally got my own to uh, just blast with malware. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, you know, high school just kept making beats and was more focused on beats than writing music at the time because a lot of people, uh, believe it or not, were like, you fucking suck. They're well, not good. I'm so, wrong, obviously. Yeah, I mean, you know, so, some of them will hate forever, but... Uh, it was, it was kind of a nice, like, kick in the ass where it's like, you know, these dudes don't think you're nice. Like, show them, show them what's good. Absolutely. And again, I mean, we all love your music, so you truly do prove them wrong. I mean, you're doing a great job with every song you release. Like, you continue to surpass every fan's expectations. So we love all of your new songs. Now, speaking of new music, you just yes. have an amazing new song, On My Own. Congratulations again on that. Can you tell us what the creative process was like making that song? Well, um, this song, you know, we I think we made this, uh, Decap and I, um, we made this probably early 2018. Um, and it was just like one of those records that, we just caught a full vibe in the studio. Um, and it was like the first time we met and it was just like kind of like a match made in heaven for like producer and artist slash songwriter because like it doesn't usually come together like that. Like sometimes you hit the studio two, three, four, five times and like, you know, it's a vibe, but it's not like, yo, we got to put this shit out now. Yeah. Um, so like, that's basically how it started. Just like really good vibe in the studio. Um, and then the song kind of just wrote itself. Like I had a couple of punchlines, like the first verse, like I burned blunt stop bridges that stood out and he really liked. And it's always nice when you like impress the producer and impress your engineer. Um, not that that matters because some engineers just stare at the computer and it could be the best shit you've ever written or the worst thing. And they don't even change their, you know, change their expression so it really just started from the vibe and um then we you know we knew it had to have like a really strong hook behind it um and he came up with those chord changes and we just ran with it and um really came together as as a project and then uh jack mason who's my engineer mixed it, our like put down the initial mix and then diamond pistols mixed it and added in like those lower dark um pads for like the third chorus and like fourth hook which kind of just gave it like that payoff value so so that's kind of the 
the short but long story <laughs> of on my own. That's amazing. I always find it so interesting just really finding out how songs come to be, whether it's the melody first, the lyric first, and like with your music, again, we love listening to it. It has both is just incredible from the lyrics to the melody and everything. So it's really nice kind of like feeling like we're in the studio with you guys and learning how this incredible hit came to be. But again, yeah, yeah. congratulations again on it. Now, do you have a favorite song to perform in front of all of your fans? I've covered a few of your shows. It's always a blast, always full of so much energy. So what's your favorite song to perform? It's tough. Um, you know, we've we've been touring for so long. Um, you know, it used to be like, I hate college, it used to be coast to coast coming up. Um, for a long time, it's like kind of wild to see how crazy the place goes when you play all night longer. Yeah. Um, but a lot, like recently, we've, we've kind of been switching up our sets and trying to play music that hasn't been released, like obviously with the permission of the producer and whoever else is on it. I mean, I don't really use songwriters because um, I just am one. But uh, we've, you know, we've played this live a couple of times. There's another record, No Reason, that me and Tim North are dropping in like three weeks. That's absolute gas. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of, There's never been like a time where I'm like, oh man, I can't wait to play this. Like we've always built the set. So, you know, it's like every song is either like a up or a down and it kind of just like makes the vibe, like you like people to get in their emotions and then like build it back up and then drop a crazy record that's like way more hype. So there's never really been a favorite one. Um, just like definitely different vibes for different songs, which is cool. Cause like, it's just as cool to play a slow song that, you know, save someone's life or help someone out with depression or like anxiety and see them cry than to see someone like smash a beer on their head for all night longer. Absolutely. The great thing, I mean, after seeing so many of your shows, as what you said, the set list, it's just one song after the other. Like you could see fans be like, oh my gosh, I love that song. And then when you're done with the next and move on to another one, oh my gosh, I love this one too. So it's like such a great set list. I remember when I was at one of your concerts, you performed um, Big Lights. And I was like, when is he going to release this one? Like I was like shazamming and everything. I was like, when can I like, we get this out? So it was really fun. Like once it finally released, it's like also like really gratifying feeling for your fans i'm sure with all my own too and also yeah, you could describe the feeling you get performing in front of your fans but just using one word what word would it be um one word i would say like observant very cool like because I, I like to pay attention to um I like to pay attention to what goes off live, um, which kind of just like, like feeds into hand in hand with like making new music and making new records. Cause which ones go off that are not released yet um, is usually a really good sign for that record. Um, and like for On My Own, we played it this last December on the tour run we did. And it was just like, it was hard to hold on to it for so long. Cause I was like, like man, it goes crazy and like the other ones do too, but there's just something about it that kind of has like a Boston's Boy 2 type feel. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's good, to, it's good to tap in and like get all the organic and like OG day one fans, uh, give them something, you know, that almost sounds familiar, but is brand new. Absolutely. Now, I just want to ask because You've performed on my own for your fans before, and now it's finally the big release that we've all been waiting for from you to your fans. So what is it like for you? What's the feelings going on right now for you with the release and like all the positive feedback you're getting from it? Um, it's, you know, it's great. It's, uh, it's, it's like really nice because everything's been kind of so chaotic lately and there hasn't been much good news. Uh, but like, even as a even as a songwriter and an artist, like, you know, we have our ups and downs and highs and lows and like this, you know, whole pandemic things obviously put a damper on a lot of our plans for the rest of the year. Um, so it's definitely been a huge boost. Like I'm ready to get back in the studio. I mean, I, I'm already in the studio, but you know what I mean? Um, 
but yeah, it's, it's been a really nice feeling just like having fans be like, I've been waiting for this record since you've, you know, previewed it on your stories and like screenshotted like a story from a year and a half ago with me and Cap were in the studio making it. Uh, so it's definitely very gratifying. It's, it's just awesome because, you know, regardless of if people are at home, there's a million other things they could be streaming and doing. Um, so very grateful to the fans and, and uh, excited for the rest of the music to come out because we're just basically going like this right now. Excellent. Well, we can't wait. Again, all of your songs are masterpieces. So we're excited for many more singles and upcoming projects to come out. Now, speaking of another one of your songs, you released Yeah Yeah a few months ago. So what was it like for yeah. you bringing that song to life? Yeah, yeah, yeah was crazy because I made it, I made it in here, uh, like two friends of mine, Runes and Mannequin, they like sent me probably like 20 records or 20 beats. And that one just like, I tried on two or three other ones, just didn't really catch a vibe. And then right away, oh uh, yeah, yeah, I was like, I put down like the hook melody and right away I was just like dancing around the room and like sending it to my brother and all my homies and shit. Um, so it was great. It was definitely a different like feel, you know, cause it was more, it was more like, um, it was more like the, why do you care cover I did of Bieber than anything else before. And like more melodic rap slash singing, um, than people were used to. So, you know, for it to, for it to be, you know, loved by fans was, wasn't a surprise, but like, I thought it would take a little more time for people um, to catch on to it. Like, oh shit, this Sammy like doesn't <laughs> doesn't have rap, doesn't have like right. this or that. But you know, the the hook and and the bars on it were, um, you know, the song just kind of wrote itself. Once I found that top line, um, it was great to it was great to let it let it finally breathe. Um, it was definitely hard to pick the order of like talking to myself yeah yeah on my own but I think we did it super well absolutely again we love that now if you could collaborate with any other musician on a song who would you like it to be oh that's a tough one um hmm dead or alive either or you can do either or um, well, me and Mac had plans early on to make a record together, so I wish that went down because um, I'm just a huge fan, and he's always been a good – always was a really good kid. Uh, but I would say now um, – that's a tough one. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe like Anderson Pock or Kendrick or maybe Good Boys Off from UK. Yeah, that's awesome. They have, like, they have like some of my favorite um like electronic dance records. So uh, I always like to just like I like to go in in areas where people are light years better than me so I can learn everything from them. That is so amazing. I know I love your song Electric Appeal and how it has mm -hmm. more of that kind of dance vibe to it. When I first heard it, I was like, oh, this is kind of different from like other songs I've heard from you on like your EPs and albums. So that would be really cool to have like another like dance type of song, but that's really awesome. But speaking of collaborations, you also worked with TJ Hickey on All On Me. So what was it like for you guys working on that song together? It was awesome. Um, me and him were like, we're like brothers. So, you know, it was, it was just super like seamless to put down a record together. I was like, I was super like, not surprised, like, oh my God, it's like, this is actually a good record. But like his writing on that was like unbelievable. So I totally was on board from the rip, right as I heard it, um, I loved it. And like, I've, I've always been a fan of his, He's, his work ethic and hustle is, you know, solidifies of a you know portion of where he needs to be and and needs to be bigger in my opinion but uh it was really easy the video was easy to shoot we just like so happened to like both get 
booked on the same night for like this event in Boston. So it was really easy. We just rented um, like a penthouse somewhere where we could see the skyline and mobbed out to the show and kind of knocked it all out in one. So it was, it was really seamless. It was a really easy process, which, you know, with collaborations can go either way. Like sometimes they're super easy and the managers and the artists are satisfied. And sometimes it's like a whole production and, and people get pissed. And luckily that's not what happened this time. So. Yeah. Well, we have during quarantine, we have a lot of music from you to listen to from on my own. Yeah. Yeah. Your collaboration with TJ Hickey and hopefully more music coming soon. Now, yeah. what other upcoming projects are you working on that fans can stay tuned for from you? Um, I have a new record coming out on May 24th called No Reason. Uh, Tim North and myself, he's from Toronto. Um, this record's crazy. It's like, it's not high energy per se. It's like not like an all night long where it's like a more chill track, but probably one of my favorite, if not, you know, best collabs I've ever done, but also just like the writings there, the production's very current and fire. So I'm really excited about that. Um, another record I just finished, it's called Drip with, and Coach Angles produced that. Boston, Massachusetts in the house. Yeah. So, so that, I mean, and then there's just so many other art, like records and artists that I've uh, just kind of been going back and forth with. Um, there's another song, Telling Me, which is very like future bass, future house. So um, it's interesting because we're kind of just jumping all over the board in terms of genre and and what, you know, what we want to accomplish is, is just finding that pocket and what works and what doesn't. And, um, you know, 2020 has been absolutely fucking insane in terms of everything other otherwise in terms of not music but uh luckily we we can use music to ground us so that's amazing i love that you always have so many terrific projects up your sleeve so we can't wait for all of this i mean we just are getting to listen to on my own then we have something exciting to look forward to in a couple of weeks so we're yeah. super thrilled about that and you always show your versatility as an artist which is so awesome now, Sammy, we're going to do a quick speed round. Are you ready for it? Let's do it. <laughs> so first one is favorite show to binge watch. Favorite show to binge watch is The Last Dance currently. Oh, very cool. Very nice. And what is your go-to guilty snack? Slim Jims. Nice. And we love seeing the posts that you share with your adorable dog. So, so cute. Do you have a favorite memory with your dog? Um, yeah, there was one day that my girl couldn't, uh, my girl like had work. So she was at work. I had to be at Apple music cause I worked there. Um, and I had the dog and this is when he was like this, this big, you know, like if you're not in the same room or like he's in his room and it's different than you, he would freak out. He like sounded like a seagull. He didn't even know how to bark yet. Um, but I took him on the train and took him in his little carrier to work. And I did like three, four hours of playlisting with him on my lap and he didn't make a sound. Um, so it was crazy because I thought I was like, this is either going to get me fucking fired or it'll be fine. Uh, but that's, that's one of them. There's, there's multiple in the last, in the last five, five months you've had them, I think. And isn't it crazy to see just like how quick they get big, like from like a baby to like now in your post, like he's pretty much like bigger from like the first time you bought him. So it's just. Oh yeah. He was, I mean, the first time we saw him, he was, he was like a little rug rat. Um, <laughs> And then, yeah, I mean, he's still, it's funny because people are like, oh, he's gotten so much bigger. But he's still like, like this big. <laughs> yeah. So tiny. cute, though. We love seeing all of the pictures and videos. But let last. Me can, let me see if I can get him. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, my ah. goodness. We have the best cameo right now. <laughs> so adorable. Hey, hi, buddy. I buddy. love Sam, you got to keep posting all those pictures and videos because he's just like a little model. I love it. Yeah, he, he's, 
He's not very happy with me right now because I just woke him up from nap time. <laughs> the, yeah, um, they're like that. I have to be like super yeah. quiet when my cat's sleeping. The whole house is quiet, but he can wake us up. Yeah, I mean, he's amazing. He sleeps, he's been sleeping through everything since we got him. So we're super lucky because other people are like, how do you get your dog to sleep? And I'm like, <laughs> put him in the bed and that's it. Lights out. That is amazing. Well, thank you for that awesome cameo. And last one for the speed round is dream venue to perform at. Dream venue, um, hmm. that's a tough one. I would say, it's funny, the, the two that I was about to say I've already played, so I guess that doesn't really count. Um, probably Wembley in England or like the Bernabeu in Madrid. Awesome. Like, like full soccer stadium type shit. Um, just because, like, I'm, I'm a fan of soccer and, and play myself. So, so it's always, like, you know, arenas like that. Like, I would, I would say MSG or the Boston Garden, but I've already played those. So um, <laughs> That's so great. Congratulations on playing those amazing venues. And I can't wait to see you perform at Wembley and all those venues very soon. Yes, now, let's do it. Yes. Now, lastly, if you could bring out one message to all of your fans, what message would that be? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I would, you know, I would say just be persistent, be consistent with whatever you want to do. Um, music has totally given me a crazy life of ups and downs and, you know, kind of, kind of just lessons on lessons on lessons. And um, if you pay attention to, to everything, you know, you're going to fall, you're going to slip. You're going to have big wins. You're going to have losses. And um, you just got to keep grinding because, like, half of my industry, you know, either you give up and then that's it or, you know, you, you kind of fight long enough to where people really start seeing your value. So I think that, that can go in, in a lot of different senses of business and, and success. And, and uh, just, like, try as hard as you can to stay positive with a lot easier to be nice to people than to be a dickhead um that's about it amazing well thank you so so much for taking the time to speak with me today i mean i truly admire all of your hard work and all of your hard work paying off to the great successes that you deserve so thank you so much sammy no problem anytime and we can't wait to listen to on my own consistently on repeat and your new music coming up so Thank you so much again, Sammy. I had such a blast chatting with you. No problem. No problem.